Today on Cravings Food Adventures, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious chili shrimp and paneer wonton that is perfect for your parties or holiday get-togethers. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed and small little pieces of shrimp and paneer are tossed together in spring onions and chili paste to make this spectacular appetizer. What's great about this recipe is that you can make it ahead and take all of the stress off your holiday planning. I'm going to start with some paneer. I've got six ounces of paneer and I'm just going to cut this into little cubes. I'm also going to chop up six spring onions as well as eight ounces of shrimp. I'm just going to finely mince this. In a wok, I'm gonna heat up some oil, and the first thing that's gonna go in are my spring onions, followed by the shrimp. Now you wanna make sure that your shrimp turns pink. That's when you know it's cooked. I'm going to add two tablespoons of chili garlic paste, as well as some salt. And I'm finally going to add the paneer. I wanna add the paneer right at the end because I don't want it to get all mushy. Take the filling and leave it aside to cool. And now we're gonna work on the wontons. If you've bought frozen wonton skins, make sure to defrost these according to the package instructions. I like to work on six at a time and I've made myself a flour paste. Now, this is just regular flour and water. Some people like to use plain water, some people like to use egg. I prefer to use flour, I find that it sticks much better. And if you find that you have a little tear in your wonton skin, you can just dab a little of that flour paste on it and it's going to save the day. I'm going to add my filling right in the middle and then I'm going to fold the wontons over into a V shape. And then I'm going to add some more flour to the edge and I'm going to seal the wonton together. Now as you can see, these are super cute. I'm going to keep doing these till I have enough. Once my wontons are ready, I'm going to heat up some oil in my wok and fry them. It's that simple. Now, if you want to make these wontons ahead, all you need to do is take a sheet and add your wontons to them so that they're not touching each other and freeze them. Once they're frozen, you can bag them. This way, they don't stick to each other. When you're ready to fry them, you can defrost them or you can fry them straight from frozen. If you're frying your wontons when they've been frozen, make sure to turn down the heat halfway through so that the filling in the center gets cooked as well. These wontons are delicious, trust me. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. I do hope you enjoyed this recipe. I upload new videos every Friday, so make sure you subscribe so you're the first to see them. This video is part of the 12 days of Christmas. I have some fabulous recipes to share, so make sure you're clicking on those links and sharing them with your friends. From Cravings Food Adventures, have a happy holiday.